Well, we're hearing from more state lawmakers on the threat to keep millions in sales tax revenue from Memphis if the city allows voters to decide on stricter gun laws locally that would differ from the state's laws. The Secretary of State, Trey Hargett, said his office will not allow three measures for gun safety laws to go on the November ballot. And the Shelby County Election Commission has stated they intend to abide by that decision. Now, our Stephen Pempo joins us in studio. And Stephen, just how much money would Memphis lose if they did not get that sales tax? Well, Pepper, State House Speaker Sexton tells me that they would withhold nearly $77 million in tax revenue from the city if the referendum is on that November ballot. Now compare that to the more than $1 billion in sales tax Shelby County generated for Tennessee so far this year. A state representative I spoke with today offered a different perspective. Guns are out there and shootings are happening on a regular basis. We failed miserably. State Representative Antonio Parkinson, a Democrat from Memphis, says he understands why the city would want a referendum for voters to weigh in on local gun control measures. The city of Memphis has the right to uh, put things in place that will protect its citizens if the state is not. Proposed measures include requiring a permit to carry a handgun in the city as well as store it in the trunk of a car. His colleagues in the Tennessee State Legislature disagree. If the local government doesn't have the authority or the ability or they're trying to override state law, which they cannot do, then there needs to be a consequence to make sure that they don't go down that road. House Speaker Cameron Sexton told ABC 24 Tuesday the referendum is an attempt to go around state law and threaten to withhold state sales tax revenue from Memphis if the measure is on the November ballot. The House Speaker now wants to create a bill that could impose such a penalty on all local governments that try to attempt a similar measure. Speaker Sexton says the federal government takes similar action with states on a regular basis. The federal government does impose that will down on the state sometimes. And the state has to decide, is this something we fight or, or not? And if we do fight it, are we willing to give up the funding? Representative Parkinson disagrees with that comparison. If you choose not to tap into that new federal law, they don't, they don't necessarily in all cases say that we're going to take money from you. You just won't have access to this new money. House Speaker Sexton says they hope to introduce that new bill next January. I reached out to the city of Memphis to see if they plan on pursuing any legal action against the state. They said they have no further comment at this time. Pepper. All right, Stephen, thank you.